guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having an awesome day so far. Today's tutorial is on this look right up here, and to get that look, I will be using the Shanex O palette from BH Cosmetics. So if you want to see how I went from this to that, then just keep watching. Today I'm starting out with my face. I'm using the Professional from Benefit Cosmetics, which I think is one of my like top three favorite primers. It just leaves your skin with a really smooth, velvety finish. And now I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me for my foundation. I'm just buffing that into one part of my face at a time and working my way around. Side note, I just want to apologize for all of the voiceovers recently. I swear to you, every time I try and sit down and film, there's someone downstairs with like heavy machinery or a jackhammer. I don't know what they're doing down there, but they're crazy. Anyway, back to the video. I'm concealing and highlighting with the Dream Lumi Concealer from Maybelline, which is another one of my favorites. And then I'm just setting the areas that I concealed with the CoverGirl Pressed Powder. It's really great. It has good coverage. And then under my eye, I'm not telling you yet what I'm using. Just be on the lookout. Just take note of how bright this eye is over the one I haven't set yet. So now onto the eyes, I'm using the Shan XO palette, I'm using the yellow peach shade and I'm really just buffing that into my crease to get a nice wash of color. And then the second shade I'm using is the brick red color and I'm lightly dusting that into my crease and then I'm just building up that color with a more defined blending brush. Also, I just wanted to mention, don't be afraid to get the product on your lid like I'm doing here. We're going to go over it anyway. You just really want to make sure that everything is super blended into your crease because we're picking up this dark color. I placed it on my outer corner and my inner corner and now I'm lightly dragging it through my crease. Here, you really do not want to apply a lot of pressure because that dark color will stick and be really hard to blend out. So basically, now you just want to blend the heck out of it and now you're going to go back into all of those colors that we used mainly the brick color and the dark color and you're basically just building up that halo eye effect to the intensity that you want for the middle of my lid I chose this color it's just a really nice light shimmery color which really catches the eye and it also catches the eye because of the contrast between the dark and the light color obviously so now once you get that packed down, you're going to go back and forth in between the dark purple and the shimmer and just lightly pat those two colors together to get them nice and blended. For my lower lash line, I'm picking up the brick brown red color. I'm pretty much sweeping that everywhere. I'm not being too precise. And now I'm going back in with the very dark color in the palette that I used on my inner and outer corners and I'm smudging that right up next to my lash line. And then you just want to make sure everything is blended one last time. For my inner corner highlight, I'm using the same highlight that I used on my lid and I'm also using that shade to highlight my brow bone. And now to really make the eyes more dramatic and pop, I'm tight lining and putting a black liner in my waterline and then you just want to go ahead and add some mascara and lashes if you want and we can move on to the rest of the face. So after that's done, I'm going on to bronzer. I'm not contouring. I feel like I contour in every video, so I'm just switching it up. I'm adding it to the normal places and down the sides of my nose, just not being very precise. And now I'm adding a lot of highlighter to the usual places that I do. There's, there it is. And now I'm just adding a pink color from the Shanexo palette, and I'm following that by a darker pink color on the outer corners of my lips, and that completes this look. This is the finished look. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Give it a big thumbs up if you did. Leave your comments down in the comment section. I would love to hear what you guys think about this look. Also, if you are curious about anything that I had on my face and you missed it, just check out the description box. And that's all I have for you guys. Have a great day. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.